Here's a quick concept check for you again on the data, the open, high, low, close. And again, you can see range for the day. So here we're looking at uh, travelers companies on the options report, recent options report. Nice little uptrend, looking for a breakout here. But again, what we're looking at here is the, the data up here. So up top, you can see the, the data. And you can see the open, high, low, close. And again, the chart type, which we talked about. Again, opening price, high, low, close. And you can see the number of points it changed. And, and again, percent change. And uh, you can see the volume down here as well, and how many shares changed hands, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see that data inside here. And again, whichever candle you point to, you'll get that data. So for example, if I wanted to know what the old highs were here on these old candlesticks, I can point to it and see that the old high is 148.84, if you look at the little data window over on the left. I could come down and look at the low and say, well, that low down there is at 143.69 by pointing to that candle. Same thing over here inside of another platform, Thinkorswim. So again, we can look at you know any number of candidates here. Uh, let's go look at uh, Visa, just off the top of my head. And uh, we're on a monthly chart this time. And again, if I can point to that candle, that's the open, high, low, and the last traded price for this month, the current month in, in process, previous month. Again, I can change my time frame to a weekly chart, and I can get the candlestick data for the week. Again, open, high, low, close for the week. Same thing here, I can go down into that daily chart, one year daily time frame. And again, you can see the data something, you know, when the market makes a new high, it'll establish a little flag that shows you a new high. And again, the data here up in these top, these top windows up here. Okay. Again, point to the current candle. Gives you the date, the open, the high, the low, the close, and then the range. I almost scribbled out there. That range is right there. And then it gives you other data for your moving averages and anything else you have on the chart. Quick uh, breakout sessions are a lot of fun, aren't they?